I know we as moms get really busy and it seems like we never have time to work out and take care of our bodies. I just want to share with you today what I've done for the past few years. I'm by no means a health and fitness expert, but I am an expert when it comes to just my own body and my own life. I feel like just getting a workout in every day helps my brain work better, my body just feel better, and everything just works so much better. And as you can see, all I have is a mat. There are so many exercises you can do whenever you have even five minutes time. You don't have to be super about it. You don't have to be perfect about it. It's really about just doing something. I always mix up workouts depending on what fits into my day. We have a dog, so I go out with a dog every day anyway, so I might as well go for a run, and that's what I do a lot. Now it's fall, and now it's raining a lot, so sometimes I don't go for long walks with a dog, and instead I'll just do body weight trainings at home. All I need is a yoga mat, and of course, a good Spotify playlist. I do have a gym membership, and I've had it for almost a couple of years. It's because I wanna just kinda work those muscles a little bit, but you don't even need that. It's just an extra for me. It's like part of my self care, if you wanna call it that. I think strengthening my muscles, especially, you know, as I get a little bit older, it can only be a positive thing. I know what that feels like. We always keep procrastinating and believe me, I was there for years. I was always what you call skinny fat. I was never overweight and I never had too much weight. I was always in my ideal weight range. So for me, it was never about losing weight or gaining weight, maybe just lose a couple pounds. And you know, after giving birth and after, after pregnancy, yeah, I had that baby weight, but it was never to where it, it was like, I had this pressure on me that I wasn't healthy or anything. But this is exactly the point. Being healthy doesn't have anything to do with like how heavy or how light you are. Well, you know, to a certain extent, it's really about how you feel. And for me personally, I feel so much healthier and stronger and sharper, even when it comes to brain activities, when I have done a little bit of working out. It really releases those happy endorphins and I just feel like I've accomplished something during that day. If you don't know where to start and you don't know any exercises yet, YouTube is so awesome. That's how I really got started. Way back in the past, I actually used to do bodybuilding. That was a long time ago. My ex-husband, he was way like heavy into bodybuilding and I took courses with him basically because he, he took a certification program and I kind of learned all the stuff that went along with it. So I know a lot about nutrition and working out and how this all works, but I don't make a science out of it. All you really need is to start somewhere and a great starting point are some of these awesome YouTube channels that I will link up below. These are my favorites. There's something for yoga. There's something for Pilates. There's something for high intensity interval training body weight training, there's something to strengthen your arms, your legs, or more cardio. You can do everything just with your own body. I also stretch, and I'll also link up my favorite apps below for stretching, because stretching feels good to me, and it makes me sleep better, and I just like being more flexible. So I'm just gonna do a little workout now. I know I'm not perfect, I'm not a fitness expert, I'm not a workout expert, and I'm not awesome at these exercises, but I just wanna share with you that, you know, if I can do it, you can do it. And your kids are gonna be so grateful to have a mom who has energy, a mom who's fit, who can run, who can do headstands maybe. There's stuff I want to learn just because I wanna learn. My daughter's friends always wow when I show them I can just do a free headstand and I'm in the process of learning handstand also bending my back, being more stretchy, more flexible, bending backwards, doing the bridge, doing all kinds of yoga poses. It's actually fun once you start having a little bit more control over your body. So let me just do this short workout here. The first thing I'll have to do though,
right, this was just a little over 10 minutes. Let me stop my watch. I have a fitness tracker, so it's kind of cool to see how your heart rate goes up. And it just feels so good. Um, literally, it just takes 10 to 15 minutes. I often do more, but I also often don't do more. And it makes all the difference. I have noticed that over the past two years, my muscles have become so much more defined. I actually have a little bit of biceps, I have back muscles, I have ab muscles. I'm not in perfect shape, but that's not what it's all about. I'm stronger and that's really what matters to me. I can actually lift something and I can actually not huff and puff when I, you know, buy groceries and carry all the boxes upstairs. So thank you so much for watching today. You can also do this if you're gonna try to also work out, even if it's just five minutes, please answer in the poll and give this video a thumbs up if you're gonna try this. Make a commitment, even for the remainder of this year, to invest in yourself by just moving your body a little bit more because our body is our temple and without the body, don't have anything to live in, right? So uh, it's really important to take care of the body. Thanks for stopping by. Subscribe if you have not already for more videos about minimalism, health, frugal living, and more mindful living all in general. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye.